Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Got some dug fur to mill up. We've got to get uh, two buys and beams made out of them. And you can see this particular piece is, uh, <laughs> well, it's not exactly perfectly straight. Mother Nature doesn't grow logs perfectly for the sawmill. <laughs> they grow the way they grow. And as you can see, I'm up in the mountains here. And when logs grow up in the mountains, they tend to not grow perfectly straight all the time. Because they're trying to grow uphill and gravity is trying to push them downhill. So all logs are different. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this log turned into some two buys and some beans. I think you're going to enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And folks, you know, the one thing is, as you're milling log after log after log, there are some sawyers out there that maybe don't make mistakes, but I'm not one of them. Unfortunately, <laughs> I make my share, and sometimes I don't catch them until it's too late. And in this one, well, that's going to happen. All right there, folks. Did you see that? Yes. Didn't calculate things quite right, so when I flipped this one over and split it down the middle, I just barely missed the pith. I actually didn't split the pith itself, but I was right on it, and that's really not good. So <laughs> that's not going to be the best. Fortunately, these are milled over. But, you know, you really, if I had caught it at the time, I would have gone ahead and maybe either taken something out of the middle or shifted it over or told the customer I wasn't going to be able to make the two beams that he wanted out of this log. You know, one thing is the customers often will say, this is what they want out of a log. And all you can do is you can advise them what's going to be the best way to mill the logs. And then if you do something like this, you advise them, hey, you know what? I got fifth a little too close on this one here. You want me to mill that off, turn this into a four by eight or something like that, or leave it. These were milled over, so... You know, he decided to go ahead and keep them the way they were. They could cup and twist. If they do, well, then you got to mill them back down again. And if you've got the van saws to do it, you can do it. So, unfortunately, we missed that one out of uh, many, many logs I've milled for this customer. I think this was the 10th, 9 or 10th time I was out at this customer's location. So, you know, but when you're milling, uh, you go out, you mill 20 or 30 logs in a weekend, it's possible that sometimes you mess up. So I'm going to let this run a little bit. We're going to get into the next log. All right, look at the end on that one. That is not pretty, is it? <laughs> you know, that's the other thing about sometimes you're out in these jobs and the customer, he gets all the, the, the trees dropped and, and stacked up and decked for you. But a lot of time he's just hiring, you know, some local faller and, and uh, you know, a log like this one, if it were me personally, I might just bucket into firewood. I mean, it, it obviously had some rot in the middle. You can see that. 
But in the end, you don't lose that much. And I suppose that's the other part of this equation is, what is it worth it to you or to your customer in terms of trying to get absolutely the most lumber you can out of a log versus turning it into firewood, right? This one, it's a bit rotten on him. The rot didn't go too deep. So once we milled it down, we actually got quite a bit of good lumber out of it. But as you can see, we're, we're gonna lose that center six or eight inches or so. Um, and I think it went about two or three feet into the log. So, you know, in the end, you still got pretty good lumber out of this log. But uh, <laughs> was it really worth it? I guess that's up to the customer, not me. I think you'll also notice we were running out of room for stacking the lumber that I was milling on this particular job. I was right down to, you know, come on guys, make sure you leave me a passage alongside the, the, the camper there so I can get to my truck, you know. Um, but uh, they were definitely running out of room. We're literally on a bit of a shelf right here. There wasn't that much room for all the logs and all the lumber that we were milling. But we got it done. So, <laughs> and wait till you see the weight coming out of this here. That'll be in an upcoming video shortly. But uh, let's let this run a little bit. And then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. All right, getting those getting those switches edged. And folks, you can see that there's a big log sitting right there that they're going to roll up to the deck, and we're going to have to mill that one down. And that one, I think, is going to be a fun one. That's pretty big, and that's the next video coming out. So stick around for that. I should have that out for you on Friday. And thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. I'd really love it if you did. And if you're not subscribed, hey, makes the channel look good. I appreciate it if you subscribe. Hey, it's free, right? nothing to it and if you like the videos share them with your friends share them out on facebook or something it really helps the channel out i really appreciate it thanks for watching y'all have a great day the old jarhead out <laughs>